hey what's up everyone welcome again to another video so on this video i'm going to teach you Django from scratch so the aim of this video is to teach you how you can develop your Django project from scratch and then on this video we're going to develop a card dealership website we are going to demonstrate the card concept so mean that we are going to create a listing we are going to retrieve a particular listing we are going to update that listing and then we are going to delete that particular listing. So we are also going to learn how we can deal with images, how we can upload images to our development environment and other settings in our Django project. So if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing liking and sharing this content so we want to reach 1000 subscribers please support us to do so just by liking and sharing and subscribing to this channel so without further ado let's get started okay using any browser you have just to type python on your browser and then just click enter and just look for the for the upper website so for us it is python.org so as you can see you have here a uh, welcome to python org so just click here you will come up with this beautiful page for the official website for python so if you are on this page you can just try to look around there are some tutorials and there are some downloads some docs and some jobs also so as for the recording of this video it is that we are going to use python 3.10.5 so we just need to click here and download the setup so after downloading the setup you just have to double click the setup and then the installation will start just remember to add python to your path so that you won't have other problems in the future when writing your commands on the terminal Okay, so if you are, you are done with the installation, it's time to create our folder and start developing our card dealership website. So just anywhere you, you normally create your projects, just create a new folder. And this folder, we are going to call it car dealership. So let's call it car dealership. yes good now after creating this folder we need to open this folder inside our vs code so let's open our vs code and then here we need to add open folder then let us check for our particular folder okay okay our folder is here let us click it here and let us add it here so after adding our folder as you can see it is here inside our vs code now we'll need to start by opening a new terminal so here we're going to run some several commands yeah of course after opening our terminal the thing we have to do here is just to we need to install our virtual environment so that we can create our virtual environment to help us develop our programs without inf interfering with our operating system so it's just simple we need to pip install virtual environment so that we can have this package of course there are other packages but we are going to use this package so as you can see from my site this package is, is already installed now no need to install it again then after installing this package for your site now you need to create our virtual environment also it's very simple just need to write virtual env then we should the name of our virtual environment for us let us just call it vnv so our virtual environment is called vmv and then let us click let us just add a dot here mean that our vmv folder should be inside our card dealership folder so click enter and it's going to take some time 
just wait for it now of course our virtual environment is created as you can see now if you navigate on your left side you will see that you have a a car dealership and inside car dealership you have this vmv folder and then inside you have a script folder which contains the activate dot bat file now it's time to activate our virtual environment so that we can start our development let us just go inside the vmv folder and then we should write scripts then slash activate click enter okay now our virtual environment is activated as you can see we have vmv here on the left side of our configuration and then it means that our virtual environment is activated now let's go back to our car dealership and then it's time for us to install Django let's clear this first now is if you want to install Django just let people install Django and then you can push dash dash the version of our uh, of your Django want to install but for us we're going to install the latest version so just people install Django and then you are going to get the latest Django package for for now it is 4.0.5 and it's taking time yeah. yeah of course it's done now so we have the latest version of Django now once you install Django it's time to start our project now it's simple just let django dash admin start project and then the name of your particular project and then don't forget to add space dot because this will create the folder inside our current development folder so it's django dash admin start project then the name of your project so for us we're going to call it dealership and then space dot if you click enter here yeah our new project is added to uh, inside this particular folder as you can see we have manage.py here added also and that means our project is started now let us try to run our server if everything is okay so python manage.py then run server as you can see our server is running good and we have a link here which you can paste it to our browser to see if everything is okay pasting it here and click enter you can see that we have a very beautiful django default page this means that our installation worked and everything is good to go so from here now on we can start creating our apps as you know that apps are like a sub function to a particular system like if you have a, a website then you can have a blog which you can call it like a standalone an app so now let us just cancel the server and create our first app so to cancel your server just press ctrl c and then let us write python manage.py then start up and then the name of our particular app for us let us just call this app a uh, let us just call it a uh, restings so python manage.py start up then restings then you press enter okay good our app is created as you can see here we have a folder called listing here and then inside we have admin.py models and views and you have the migrations folder here okay let me just explain a little bit about this file is inside our listings app so if you open the 
these things up here we can see that we have the underscore underscore in it dot py this is just to tell the django that this is a is a python package then we have sgy gi dot py then we have the settings dot py so settings dot py is the main file where we're going to configure our particular django project we can uh, we can add the apps we can set up the database and then we have the urls.py so this is where we configure our urls like the admin url or any other url we, we need to have on our website then we have this the wsdi.py i'm going to talk about this later then we have the of course i've already talked about the underscore underscore init.py we have this the admin.py so here is where we're going to register our models that they can appear to our admin site so if we have a particular model we're going to register it here we'll see it later then we have the apps.py so any app we create will be configured inside apps.py then we have models.py so models like is like the a file where we are going to create our tables so this has to do with the our database we are going to define which type of characters or integers we are going to have inside our tables so for now let, let's just consider this is where we are going to create our database and then you will understand later when we are we start creating our particular database so we have test.py so here is where you write your tests and then we have the views.py so views are like the the function how you return your pages and how you configure your page so we they are like function but we we have the class based view and we have the function based view and then we will see later about the function based views because they are the ones we're going to use on this video okay now let's go back to our settings as you can see first we have a database here so this is a sql right which comes with the default django after installing just django the sql right server sql database comes with it but it's not necessary you can configure an, any database you want with django so let's go to the our settings.py here so inside settings we remember that we created an app we called it listings so we need to add this particular app to our settings so go to install the apps install the apps uh, install the apps but as i was saying that you can see you can configure your database here just instead of using sqlite you can use the another maybe mysql or you can use the postgres and you also you can you can see in future we're going to set them some images some configuration to images you will see also how we can do with particular images and static files in our project so for now let's go to installed apps and then let us just add our listings app to the installed app so this is a good way and this is how we're supposed to do in order for for our app to function we need to add it here so let us just add a uh, listings here of course it is listings okay now we are good to go